A clear night for baseball here in Philly. It's the Marlins and the Phillies, and it comes your way next. And a good look there at one of the newer stadiums in the big leagues, Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, as MLB The Show gets set for this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's baseball on a Saturday night. Game two of this three-game weekend series as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. And hello once again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, Matt Vaskersian, we get set to bring you what should be an entertaining ball game. Also with us, 10-year Major League vet Rex Hudler. And Hud, we turn to you first. What catches your eye in this one? Well, one thing we'll have to keep in mind here is the way Citizens Bank Park plays. This place has become something of a haven for hitters, so pitchers are going to have to be extra precise with their control. Keeping the ball down and in the yard is going to be a key. All right, Rex, we'll hear from Dave in a moment, but first let's get to our majestic starting lineup as the visiting Florida Marlins line up like this. And Pudge Rodriguez may be winding up his career, but his bat is still lively. Don't overlook him. And on the mound to face these guys is a man that entered 2009 with 246 victories and one World Series ring, the crafty left-hander Jamie Moyer. And behind him, a look at the Phillies' defense as they're anchored up the middle by a two-time Gold Glove winner Jimmy Rollins at short and a first-timer Shane Victorino in center. Coming fourth is the leadoff hitter Hanley Ramirez, and we are all set to go now from Philadelphia. Cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. And good hitters like this will just let it go by and wait for a pitch they can do something with. First pitch, 707. Pitch on the way. Now a ball lined back over second. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard to open up the ball game. Cody Ross steps in now. First pitch to him. Swing and a bouncing ball behind second. And Rollins will throw him out one away. A man at second with one down. And standing in the always dangerous left fielder, Manny Ramirez. And now the bat explodes as this has popped up. And therefore it is Utley as that becomes out number two. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And that'll bring in the powerful second baseman, Dan Ugla. He's ready. Now the pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. Good showing for this guy yesterday. Three knocks in that ball game. And now Ugla swings and hits this one on the ground to shortstop. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first, and with that, the inning is over. So they get a man to second here in the top half, but he's stranded there. Now it'll be the Phillies' turn. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies will look like this, again brought to us by Majestic. And Jimmy Rollins has an MVP award on his mantle, remember? He can make an impact here in any number of ways. They'll square off against a guy who made his major league debut a year ago at the age of 25. 6'5 right-hander Burke Badenhop. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this.
ready to go now in the home half of inning number one as shortstop Jimmy Rollins makes his way toward the box. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And he might not get a better pitch to hit this entire at bat. In on the hands that time, one and one. One one pitch on the way. And this is hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. Three. And here's a swing and a miss by Rollins. He's set down on strikes for the first out. Greg Dobbs will stand in. Lays off 1-0. That's not a bad spot to miss with a fastball. He'll do okay if he can keep it down there throughout. One out, nobody on. Here's the 1-0. And another fastball, but this one finds the zone 1-1. One one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, and that looked like the emergency hack there. Three. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. So with two gone and the base is empty, no better time to go after Ryan Howard. Now here's a check swing. Did he go around is the question. And yes, he did, says the man in blue. Strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. And Mac Harvey's strike zone is one of the better ones around. But that didn't look like a great call there. Now the pitch. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. And he's probably saying, you're not going to call that one a strike also, are you? Struck him out, so a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. Wow, how about that for starting a game? Three straight strikeouts to open the home half of the first. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia with no score. Jeremy Hermida leads things off now in the top half of the second. Boy, slow and slower from Moyer as he gets ahead with a changeup for strike one. Mark of a good pitcher right there. Don't let him gauge speed on the first pitch. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. 
Applebee's is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. The leadoff man retired now for Jorge Cantu. And that misses for ball one. Yeah, trying to take back control of that inside part of the plate. That's where you want to be. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. So a runner on first with one out now. And here comes Pudge. Circle change, too low, ball one. second. Now a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And a throw over to Howard and that's the second out. Gabby Sanchez will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. Howard is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Shea Sutley will start things off in the bottom of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. And a ball 1-0. And this guy couldn't get anything going yesterday. 0 for 5 in our ball game. Hang with him. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's 1-1. One one. Boy, keeping this guy off base is going to be a real key to the ball game going forward. And that misses 2-1. field to left and it was sinking on him a bit but he's able to run it down anyway for the first down one gone in the inning now for Raul Abanez and that misses ball one Bottom of the second here with no score. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. He's keeping the fastball low at least, that's all right. Too high that time and it's three and one just got to concentrate on that glove in situations like this just get it over and a 
Fastball misses there, ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone, and here's the versatile outfielder, Shane Victorino. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. Oh. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a ball lined hard toward right center. And Victorino's going to have himself extra bases. And the run is in to score to make this a 1-0 ball game. Chris Post will dig in here. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. He's ready now, the pitch. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. And you can see he's trying to pull everything. You need an opposite field approach here. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Man at second here with two away, and in steps the right-handed hitting Pedro Feliz. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner toward right center, and he'll have himself a base hit. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a 2 to nothing lead now. Jamie Moyer will take his cuts now. Ball one. And a good chance to really help himself out here early on. Now a swing and a ground ball for Ramirez at short. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll go now to the top of the third. Phillies lead this one two to nothing. Burke Badenhop ready to go here as we begin the third. A bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One oh. Boy, in a mid-80s fastball that time, but it's a called strike one and one. Mm, real good location with that fastball early on. Center field. And this is taken in out there by Victorino for route number one. Always nice to get the inning started against the pitcher as he sets him down easily for the first out of the third. Leadoff man gone, so they'll work against the shortstop, Handley Ramirez. Now here's the first pitch. 
Now a swing and an easy ground ball to first. And Howard will mosey over to the bag himself to record the out. Cody Ross will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now a swing and a ball grounded fouled off to the right side. Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third. Base hit. Manny Ramirez will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Ran the circle change in on him, a ball and no strikes. And that's dangerous there. If you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate away, not on the inside half where the guy can turn on it. Let's get the strike out. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. A runner on first with two away. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Here he comes again, 1-2. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Got to make sure you finish off your pitches here. His last few have taken off on him a bit. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Oh, and these two guys are locked in a battle now. Eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Marlins leave one. They're still down. It's 2-0. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. Swing and a high pop-up back behind the mound. Settling under it is Cantu. One pitch, one away. So one gone here in the Philadelphia third, and that'll bring in the third baseman, Greg Dobbs. First offering on the way. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. And that thing's looking a lot sharper now here in the third inning. Bases are empty, one man out. Look into Pudge now, the one-one. Swung on and missed, one and two now. 
And you can see just not getting the hands through the zone quick enough to tackle that fastball in the inside half. Great pitch there as that completely locked him up and he's down on strikes for the second out. Ryan Howard will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. Now here it comes. And this is reached for and fouled away off to the left as the count moves to 0-2 now. Good waste pitch, one and two. And that's a good two-strike pitch there, as now it might be just to set up something away. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. On now to the top of inning number four. Phillies on top, two to nothing. Dan Ugla will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Dan Ugla. misses outside and a bit high one ball no strikes tough guy to face here to start this inning on, the next pitch and that's in there for his strike one and one and you can't try and outthink him up there just find a good pitch and square it up Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. And he's given him three straight fastballs, but it could very well be the curveball they call on here. <laughs> curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Oh, and when that pitch left his hand, I bet he thought he had a strikeout. Now a ball hit hard but foul as this one forces the third base coach to dance out of danger. And this is swung on and bounced to Rollins at short. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So the leadoff man retired here and that'll bring up Jeremy Hermida. And this ball will be chopped foul. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. And so two are gone now for Jorge Cantu. Third baseman, Jorge Cantu. First pitch coming. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Two out, nobody on.
had him out in front there as he takes strike one on the circle change. And when you don't have a blow it by your fastball, that's a pitch you have to lean on. Good location on the outside corner there, one and two. And from what I've seen so far, these guys are going to have a lot of trouble scoring tonight. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Philadelphia is on top, two to nothing. Chase Utley will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. But this is a foul ball. Ball one. will be grounded foul down the line at first. And this is swung on and missed by Uckley as he's retired for route number one. Raul Abanya will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. One out, nobody on. Hey. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Man, he is locked in on the mound. Late decision to offer at the changeup as this is bounced to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. Shane Victorino will stand in. An RBI double to his credit the first time around. Swing and a liner back through the box. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Maybe an important two-out hit for him there, as at the very least, that breaks a string of six straight he'd retired. Chris Post will get another shot, called out on strikes his first time around. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Throw over to first, and a dive, but he's back in. The 0-1 is swung on and bounced to the shortstop, Ramirez. Oh, look at Ramirez. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On to the top of inning number five we go. 
The Phillies lead it two to nothing. Pudge Rodriguez will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And that misses inside 1-0. and And these guys would love to see the bottom of the order get some offense going. Slice down the line at first. And Howard will mosey over to the bag himself to record the out. Gabby Sanchez will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And he's done everything right on the mound so far. The mistakes have been almost non-existent. Here's a swing, and he saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And that's going to land foul. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again, still two and two. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Now the 2-2 pitch. Three. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Burke Badenhop will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and Well, he won't blow anyone away with that fastball, but it's strike one anyway. And you can tell he's really in his zone out there now. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And you got a pitcher up there that's barely hitting his waist size. Throw him a strike. The two one. Softly on a line to third. And a diving try at third, but it's past him, a fair ball. Hanley Ramirez will step in. One for two in the ballgame. From the belt, the pitch. And that's inside for a ball. One and oh. And no threat to run over there at first. So with two away, you can focus all your energy squarely on this guy. Out. 
out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Two out with the man at first. And there's ball two now. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. Third time through the lineup for these guys now, and they haven't done a whole lot to this point. Now a ball hit on the ground for Rollins at short. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. One left for Florida. They're down two to nothing. Pedro Feliz will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Ball one. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. Good patience there from Feliz as he's in the driver's seat up 2-0. And, oh. and let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. Two-0 oh on the way. And this is hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Jamie Moyer will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Now the first pitch. Now the bunt attempt is popped up. Sanchez is there and he makes the catch for the out. Jimmy Rollins will stand in. He popped out in his last time. And here's the first pitch. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Manny is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. Ball slicing away from him there, but that's a good jump and a good first step as he runs this one down. Greg Dobbs will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Ball hit.
hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. And low, it's a ball and a strike. And with a big-time power threat and Ryan Howard on deck, you definitely don't want this inning to go any further if you're on the mound. Well hit to right, but foul. Come on, get a base hit. Has a look, now the pitch. Fouled back. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. And it's pretty clear they've decided to work him up in the zone here as they've gone up with the last three pitches. And he'll fight to stay alive here as this is reached for and fouled away. Swing and a high chopper towards first. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through five here at the ballpark. Phillies lead this one two to nothing. And before the Marlins take their turn here in the sixth inning, let's take a moment to check their in-game box score through five innings. It's presented by Upper Deck. Cody Ross will step in, one for two in the ball game. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul down near third. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. And all this good work on the mound so far can be undone with one bad inning. So focus needs to be sharp right here. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. And now a pitch on the way. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. And sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. So one away here in the inning for Manny Ramirez. low for ball one and even though he's pitching well this is the part of the order that he's really got to worry about the 1 0 to Ramirez and he watches one miss outside 2 and 0 now and this part of the order needs to really step things up Oh, and Mac Harvey behind the plate is really making him work for a strike. It's 3-0. and oh. Ah, and that might be the kind of call you get when you're an all-star. That looked to catch a lot of the plate. And 
and he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings a four pitch walk here Dan Ugla digs in at the plate Dan Ugla First pitch coming. And that swung on and missed for strike one. And he's looking for his first hit of the game to try to push his hitting streak up to five games. Fouled straight back. there as this is driven pretty well out to deep right field but that'll be off the right field wall Jeremy Hermida will stand in 0 for 2 thus far and here's a fastball called for strike one and now on the mound, you can't worry about the shutout anymore. You need to get out. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. Jorge Cantu will step in, one for two in the ball game. And in front of a curveball here as this is bounced on the ground to third. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first, and with that, the inning is over. And that's six shutout innings thus far, as he's been very difficult to solve. Part of the order, three, four, and five coming up. Philadelphia is on top, two to nothing. Low scoring game as we get another look at the in-game box score and much like the previous one we saw, really not a whole lot to look at offensively thus far. Ryan Howard will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Now the first pitch. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. And now as a pitcher, you just got to go out there and do what you can. Then wait for your ball club to get you some runs. And a foul ball straight back. And he missed with it. It's one and two. And, and a swing and a miss by Howard. And the big guy can't make contact. There's one away. So the leadoff man set down now for Chase Utley. And 
And a slider tails outside for ball one. And this crowd's fallen into a bit of a lull here in the middle innings. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Bases are empty, one man out. 1-1 one, one on the way. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. And he looks like a yoga instructor getting out of the way of that one. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And the throw will not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. Raul de Banya will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. At first is Utley, the pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. And if you have confidence in your command, maybe pitch out again here. Runners off for second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. On the pitch out pays off as he is nailed at second base. Well, they guessed right on the pitch out right there, and this guy has just hung out to dry. And a ball there to Ibanez. The count's even at two and two. Hey, just wait for your pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And now on three and two, let's see if he gets a fastball here. The 3-2 pitch. And he takes ball four, so a good job of running the count full and then coaxing out the pass. Shane Victorino will dig in here. Two for two with a double thus far. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low for ball one. And he's only at 78 pitches, so he should have enough to go nine. And this catches the outside corner, strike one. And this guy's got two of their four hits tonight, so he's been one of their few bright spots. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. I need to be a little more aggressive up there. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And now an important pitch here because if you go three and two, that's gonna activate the runner. A runner on first with two away. Ball. It's lifted the other way out to left. And Manny will put this one away, and that'll be that. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We're through six full. Phillies on top, two to nothing. Fudge Rodriguez will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven.
And he takes ball one. He's got to find a way to get on any way he can. Swing and a miss, one and one. Ah, uh, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. And these guys really just haven't had too many favorable counts so far. Seems like they're always behind. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. And a good pitcher can't be afraid to run that fastball up and in like that. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. And they'd certainly take a walk here, anything to get something started. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Gabby Sanchez will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. First pitch to him. A vintage Jamie Moyer. Slow, slower, slowest. The changeup's good to make it nothing in one. A lot of first pitch hacking here late in the ball game. I'd make him throw me something. And he lays off for ball one. And he's not going to swing at borderline pitches. He knows what his assignment is. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Got that thing moving a little too much. Now the two-one pitch. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. Ibanye will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. And we'll take a look now at his pitches by inning. And you can see he's reached 85 for the game now, so I'm sure they'll start to monitor him just a little more closely in that dugout. And it looks like a pinch hitter is going to be in order here as the powerful Wes Helms gets the nod. First pitch coming. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Can't get too anxious right off the bench. That's a pitch you've got to lay off of. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And this is past a diving ugly at second. The base hit. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and it's back to the top of the order now for Hanley Ramirez. A hold by Moyer, the pitch, 
And this is taken outside for ball one. And I was about to call this a strike, but apparently not. It's 2-0. Oh. Boy, that looked pretty good. You hate to give this guy extra strikes to work with. Two out with the man at first. Comes set. Now the pitch. Strike called. 2-1. and one. He's got to drive that fastball the other way. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's three and one. Yo, bench this guy. And this is on the ground foul wide of Howard over at first base. through into center field a base hit throw into third and they won't get him at third they're runners at the corners here with two gone here comes Charlie Manuel up out of the Philly dugout and he's going to go to the bullpen here that's going to be off for Jamie Moyer so he'll leave with the lead can't lose this one but he is responsible for the two runners out there so he could get a no decision if they were to come around and score Chano Park is on and he'll take over on the mound. Cody Ross will get another crack, one for three thus far. there for strike one. Maybe a little surprising they'd make a move here with the shutout going. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And you wonder, sooner or later, when is the big hit going to come? And he'll throw over to first dive but he's back in there and again a throw and he'll get back in safely swing and a miss and it's a ball and two strikes here Man, it is all or nothing time on the mound right now. And he struck him out. So a masterful job of being thrown into the fire and getting the big strikeout to end the inning. Marlon strand a pair. They trail things here two to nothing. New pitcher is set to go now. It's the young righty out of Texas A&M, Logan Kensing. Chris Coach will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. up the middle 
And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Pedro Feliz will stand in, base on balls his last time. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. The 1-0 pitch. And that misses 2-0. and And you can tell from the body language, he just doesn't look comfortable out there. A runner at first with no outs here. And there's ball three. And with nobody out, I doubt he'll have the green light 3-0. Now the 3-0 pitch. A strike and it's 3-1. and one. Doing the smart thing, taking all the way. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now a hard liner toward short. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Shanho Park will take a long look down here as he may be bunting to avoid the double play. Now here's the first pitch. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Trying to avoid the double play ball that could have ended the inning. When you don't have confidence in a pitcher swinging the bat, this becomes a very wise play. So a runner at second, two down now. And here's the speedster Jimmy Rollins. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And now on the mound, you need to keep this a two-run game, so that means don't let them get that run in from second. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. And with two outs and a base open, they may just be working around him here. And there's the first strike, two and one. And he's just one for eight at the plate here in the series, so he needs to turn things around. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. No, on three and two, you gotta go with your strength. And Rollins taking there, and it misses for ball four. Now time for a visit from the pitching coach. And everyone in the ballpark knows he's going to tell him, quit walking, guys. Let's go.
Greg Dobbs will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch on the way. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And this is going to get past Cantu down the line. A fair ball. And the run will score from second here. This is now a 3-0 game. Ball ripped down the left field line. This was going to get one home for sure, but a good job out there to cut this off quickly as they had to hold that second runner at third base. Ryan Howard would dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. off a fastball looked good but it's 1-0 and oh. and this could be the knockout punch if he can do some damage here in there one and one and at the plate he's just one for seven in the series so he's in a bit of a cold spell Ball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Runners at second and third with two gone. Called strike two. And if he can get out of this and hold the Phillies to just one, he'll definitely have walked the tightrope here. Fastball, and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. Oh, and those hands and wrists are delicate things. Guys don't like hard fastballs in there. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. So one run here on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. Phillies lead this one three to nothing. Manny Ramirez will be the batter. 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. And with the 3, 4, and 5 guys due up, it would seem to be now or never time. They've got to get something going. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and oh now. And it looks like they don't want to give in to Manny here. It's 3-0. and And now you just got to worry about getting on base. That tying run still in the hole. Three O is on the way. And they'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. And when you're struggling to score runs, you really need the heart of your order to get something started.
And he looks at one that misses for ball four, so the leadoff man is on here to get the inning underway. Dan Ugla will dig in. He doubled his last time. Ugla. Runner at first, Manny, the pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats, a foul ball. And a ground ball for Rollins. This could be two. Utley for one. Over to Howard, and indeed, they get them both. Jeremy Hermida will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And they start him out away with a cold strike. And this has been a well-played ball game. No errors on either side. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. go away here as he reaches for one and hits it on the ground to third. And a wild throw there as he tried for the backhand, but it got right by him. So a runner at second. Two down now. And that'll bring in the third baseman, Jorge Cantu. Outside with the fastball that's 1-0. And he knows he should be out of the inning already, but he's got to pick up his defender behind him and get out of this. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. Boy, and you've got to like the drama of a low-scoring game where every pitch means something. Called a strike on the inside part of the plate, two and one. And you've got an open base here, but it would put the tying run on base. Ready with the two one, fouled back. Weakly to the right side, so he stays alive. Two out here and a runner at second. Another 2-2 offering. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. One more of those, and that'll get the tie and run to the plate. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Pudge Rodriguez will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. And we'll likely see the closer in the ninth if they get out of this, but you could make the argument that this is the real save right here. Come set, now the pitch. And this is near the line, but foul wide at first. And he misses there, one and two. Looking awfully erratic out there right now. Two men are on with two men out. The one-two pitch to Pudge. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Ah, and this could wind up being a make-or-break pitch right here. And this is fouled straight back. Now a ground ball towards the hole. 
And this is past the diving luckily at second, a base hit. He'll come home with it. And he is in there with their first run, and it's cut to 3-1 now. Gabby Sanchez will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. And now this is where the rubber meets the road. You've got to bear down here. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. From the stretch. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. Some anxious moments in that dugout now. Change up there as this is lifted into the air out towards center field. And Victorino will make the catch, and the inning is over. So one run, one hit, one Philly error, and two men left on base. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. The Phillies lead it 3 to 1. A new pitcher coming on now. It's the former Crimson Tide standout, left hander Taylor Tankersley. Chase Utley will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. And now I wouldn't put this thing anywhere close. And they'll try to get Utley to chase, but he holds off. It's 1-2. and two. Pretty well-placed fastball there on 0-2. That's a good take. toward deep right field. And some trouble now in right field. Throw into second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Raul Lepana to step in with a big opportunity to get that insurance run home from second. First offering on the way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Yeah, a little late on the recognition, but a good job to hold up in time. Eighth inning of this low-scoring affair. Three to one, our score. And this one's too far inside. Ball two. And just eyeballing it from up here, he doesn't have the look of a guy that's totally warm yet. And he watches this one in there for a high strike. Ah, uh, boy, when you're a middle of the lineup guy and you get a good one to hit 2 and 0, oh, you got to turn it loose. And this one's low here, so the count swells to 3 and 1. And it's pretty clear they don't want him to beat him tonight. He's a pitch away from taking a walk for the third time. Swing and a miss as he went after the slider there, and that'll run the count full. And nothing takes a sting out of a leadoff double quite like a strikeout. You can bet he'll be gunning for one right here. Now the three and two pitch. And he takes ball four again. And clearly, guys, they just don't want any part of him in this one. Shane Victorino to get another shot now. Two for three in the game.
changeup too low, and it's 1-0. and And these guys better hope his location clears itself up pretty soon. one -oh pitch now. And clearly trying to keep the ball low here. That's ball two. And he is really into the gun now. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Yeah, he needed that one. Something to give him a little confidence. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. None out, runners at first and second. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. And now's a spot where you need to come up with your best pitch on the mound. Full count offering on its way. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Scott Proctor is going to have his work cut out for him here. Chris Coach can break this one wide open now if he can find a gap here with the bases loaded. In there for strike one. Gotta at least be thinking sack fly here if you're at the plate. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. What a pitch there. Oh, and a huge strikeout there as he certainly does his job out of the pen. And we'll see how they go after the next guy here. Pedro Feliz will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. and And he doubled earlier tonight. He'd certainly love another one right here. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. and And now we'll see if they go ahead and give him the green light here with the bases loaded. And that's in there, two and one. And he's saying, what do I got to do to get a strike? Bases are loaded with only one out. Hey. Now a fastball for a strike, and from two and oh, it's back to two and two. And he's working hard from the neck up right now. That's the 2-2 pitch. On the ground for Ramirez. This could be two. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Ninth inning coming up. Phillies on top, 3-1. to one. 
And who better to try and close this one out than the hard-throwing right-hander Brad Lidge. Cameron Maven is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench, ready to lead it off in the ninth. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And could these guys ever use a leadoff base runner? And Maben comes up empty on that one, and it's 0-2 now. This is a guy that won't back down from a challenge. He'll come right at you up in the zone. Foul into the seats down the right side. And he looks at a ball, one and two. And a lot of times, this is where he likes to elevate that fastball and try to get guys to chase. Now here's the pitch. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Hanley Ramirez will dig in now. Two hits in four at-bats thus far tonight. And he starts him out with... Well, it looked like a strike, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. The win would belong to Jamie Moyer if Lidge can seal the deal here. Here's one hit towards the hole. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. Cody Ross will step in. One for four in the ball game. Here's the first offering. And that misses low and away, bowl one. Still no home runs in the ball game on either side of the scorecard. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. And when you're trailing three to one late, it's important to really concentrate in every at bat. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And this is past the diving ugly at second, a base hit. Alfredo Omeziga will come on now and pinch run here. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and here comes Manny. Here's the first pitch, and he lays off there 1-0. Boy, it feels like no one sat down since about the seventh inning. <laughs> Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's 1-1. One and he'll try to keep the ball down here and maybe try to get that one final double play ball to end it. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. And in an RBI spot here, I think you need to be a little more aggressive, especially if you're a three, four, or five guy.
Now a swing and a miss, and Manny's down on strikes for out number two. Dan Ugla will stand in as their last chance now. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. And here's the man of the hour right here. This is definitely the guy you want up in this spot. Two and zero on pace here to pick up save number twenty-seven on the year if he can finish things out. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Here he comes on two and one. Three and one. And it's imperative that you get a good jump out there at second right now and first for that matter. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Boy, he's really digging himself in the hole right here. The last thing you want to do is put the possible go-ahead run on base without even making him swing the bat. Jeremy Hermida will stand in now, and if he can find a gap somewhere, he might even be able to give his team the lead. Now here's the first pitch. Lays off 1-0. and And Hermida hit his salami in his first Major League at bat. He's got a shot for another one here. Called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. One strike away now from magically working out of this with a lead intact. And a good eye that time by Hermita as the count evens at two. And I think you've got to throw a strike here because you do not want to go three and two. Swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Go on to first, and the ball game is over. He was certainly a little rougher on the edges here in the night, but he winds up stranding the bases loaded as he finds a way to work out of Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond the call of duty here in this one. He's our upper deck player of the game. Six and two-thirds quality innings isn't bad, Matt. He needed a little help to get out of there in the seventh, but all in all, that was a pretty good performance on the mound. So that'll do it. For Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler, and our entire San Diego-based crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here tonight. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. For more, point your browser to MLB09.com. The Phillies win this one 3-1. to one. Post game highlights are on the docket next. From Philly, good night, everybody.